Hey guys, this is Adrian from Agent Facts, and today I'm gonna make a tutorial on water paint because of this guy and this, and don't forget him and him and many more. They all request you for the same tutorial. They want me to make a tutorial on this, so I decided let's make a tutorial that they, they want. Let's make a tutorial that my viewers want. <laughs> Yeah, so let's jump in <laughs> into a tutorial. <laughs> yeah, so this is a footage. You can say like this is a pretty decent shot, small shot, and this video, this scene is from the music video "Faded" by Alan, a really nice song. And let's see, uh, let's remove this this sign. Yeah, okay. So hit tab and write water paint. So you get this this nut. <laughs> okay, so just connect your BG to your main footage and hit one on this. Yeah, uh, when you select it, you can see like this is quite the same as like the word note, but we have some new options also. Like we have brush, revert, and the, <coughs> the clone tool, eraser, blur, a sharp hand, and dodge and burn. They all like. They are the basic tools you can see in Photoshop also, but in this tutorial I'm going to use clone tools and when you select a clone tool you can see some more options up there like blending mode, opacity, hardness, burst size and all these uh, onion and all these other tools. Okay, so you can also just manually uh, by this or you can also use the hotkeys like when you hold shift and drag your mouse up and down you can Change the burst size. Yes, this is all real. You can change the burst size. Hold down shift, and when you hold Alt and sorry, when you hold Control and drag your mouse, you can basically check the sample area, uh, that area that you want to clone it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So for the sake of the uh, sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do very roughly this paint job, but you guys take your time and do it properly. Yeah, and when you guys like, you can see when I'm doing, when I'm using this clone tool, it's saving every patch. It's saving every patch, you can see that, and which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, so I'm doing it roughly for this, for this, for this tutorial. Uh, yeah, okay. So you guys can see, I painted on the first frame, which is zero, in my, <laughs> according to me. So, okay, so I'm gonna use this image, uh, this first frame, as a reference frame or you can say as uh, as my clean plate so I have to hold this whole frame so I'm gonna use the frame hold to hold this frame to get a still image <coughs> okay so just hit tab and write frame hold for the for that tool sorry for that not yeah here's it just select it and just put your frame number that you want to hold in my case it's zero so that's pretty much it and you can see now it's a still frame yeah okay so okay just let me just duplicate my main file so you can see <coughs> my <coughs> so we can see our video let me just put it aside okay so you guys can see uh, I have my main file now like my main footage and the still for image I'm gonna use this image as an <coughs> as a clean plate, but first I have to track this image. So I'm gonna use tracker, and I'm gonna use the two, two, uh, two point tracking in this case because it's a easy <coughs> trackable shot. And I'm not gonna show you that of how to do two D tracking. You can uh, I already have a tutorial on that, and the links below for the two D tracking. So I'm gonna skip this part. So yeah, okay, so we're back and you can see we already tracked the shot yeah. Okay, so simply we have to apply this tracking data on our uh, On the reference frame so uh, or uh, on a clip plate, but I have to first mask it out or cut it out for the specific area So I'm gonna use rotor node, hit O for the rotor node and make a garbage rotor for that area that you want to cut it out Just like this, let me adjust it yeah. Okay. Just select it and hit Z for smooth edge, smooth it out for the, uh, the edges. And I'm gonna use merge node to mask it out. Select it, and when you hit one on the merge node, you can see 
we have a black hole hold on just shift uh, shift it to over to mass so it mask it out but we have hard edge so just use blur knot to soften edge the edge and to get that nice fall off and the feather will look it helped to blend your scene okay so now we have to apply the tracking data on our <coughs> on our green plate so just select it just connect it a tracker and guys make sure just going to transform and make sure your transform is on the match move so it <coughs> so it grab every so it uh, it grab that animation that, that moving animation and simply just we're gonna use the merge knot to put it on our main plate and yeah that's all yep it's done and which is pretty decent oh sorry and this is and which is pretty cool yeah and so uh, some guys requested for the sequence painting and which is really simple but just painted every frame just let me just show you okay yeah so you guys can see uh, I have painted my first frame so let me just use the clone tool uh, <coughs> just paint every frame you have to paint every frame uh, it take a lot of time to get proper result because it takes experience uh, you can see in my case I'm having the jitter and glitches but I'm doing very roughly but you guys take your time and do properly and you will get that result that you want just because the practice make man perfect <laughs> yeah and that's all uh, this is a very common and simple tool but very effective in one gun situation but i will guys highly recommend, uh, highly recommend you guys the silhouette software because that software is especially made for the water and paint work and you can export that uh, uh, the data that paint data in alpha from for, for the new and uh, yeah and if you guys have any specific tutorial requests just let me know i'll make that for you until then peace out